Stephen Hawking grew up in a family of well-educated people. Both of his parents had college degrees, so education was very important. But Stephen was never a brilliant student. He was not able to read properly until he was eight. And despite his average performance in school, there was something about him that teachers recognized. They knew there was a hidden genius deep inside. He was never very interested in school. He was more fascinated in what was happening outside and spent most of his time inventing new things. While in school, Stephen was nicknamed Einstein. When Stephen was 17, he went to Oxford University to study physics and chemistry. And believe it or not, while at university, Stephen was incredibly lazy and had barely worked for an hour a day. He found his first year very boring. I'm not proud of this, I'm just describing my attitude at the time, which I shared with most fellow students, boredom and feeling nothing was worth making an effort for. After graduating from Oxford University, he went to Cambridge to further his studies in cosmology. But soon, Stephen started having some strange physical symptoms. His speech started to be slurred, he was clumsy, he would often trip and fall, and at first he wasn't paying much attention. But his condition was getting worse rapidly. In the meantime, he met his future wife Jane. But after making a series of tests, it was diagnosed that he was in the early stages of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. The part of his brain responsible for muscle control was shutting down. This disease gradually paralyzes people, and over time they struggle to walk, talk, swallow, and even breathe without help. And Stephen had only two years left to live. When the doctors told him he didn't have much time left, at only 21, something shifted inside of him. Faced with the possibility of dying, Stephen was motivated to make a difference and not be lazy and waste any more precious time. So he dedicated his entire life on his work. He became even more optimistic and married Jane and they soon had three children. When faced with the possibility of an early death, it makes you realize that life is worth living, and there are lots of things you want to do. It is a waste of time to be angry about my disability. One has to get on with life, and I haven't done badly. People won't have time for you if you're always angry or complaining. He became one of the most recognizable, unique and admired scientists of all time. His incredible work on black holes and the origin of the universe changed the way we think about science. His most famous book, A Brief History of Time, was sold more than 10 million copies. Stephen Hawking is one of the most inspirational people in the world. He had an incredible determination and burning desire to live. He didn't let his illness stand in the way. No matter how hard life was, and no matter how impossible or unachievable something was, giving up was never an option. Despite all odds, he proved his doctors wrong, miraculously living more than 55 years after his diagnosis. He died at the age of 76. Stephen Hawking might have been disabled in body, but not in his spirit. And he has the best advice for living a happy life. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. And if you're lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious, and however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. Be brave, be determined, overcome the odds. It can be done. While there is life, there is hope. So, what's your story?